Hello everyone, my name is Devan Amit and I'm a developer advocate at Ivan. In this video, we'll learn how to connect Apache Kafka to OpenSearch using Terraform. Let's get started. This recipe is part of Ivan Terraform cookbook. Let's look at the setup. Imagine you have an application that sends logs to Apache Kafka and you'd want that logs to appear on OpenSearch. Apache Kafka Connect can help you do that. Service integration is an Ivan specific concept that glues two Ivan services together. In this case, it's gluing Apache Kafka and Apache Kafka Connect. Then we're using OpenSearch Sync Connector to take that data from Apache Kafka Connect to OpenSearch. You'd need some helper files, for example, provider file, variables files to get started with this. So let's go to our VS Code. Here, on a new folder, I have already created four files and let's start with the provider.tf file. This file tells which Terraform provider you're using. In this case, I even Terraform provider, the specific version you're using. Next, we have the variables.tf file and var values.tf var files. In the programming language, you don't hard code all the values and you use variables. The concept is very similar. So Ivan API token and project underscore name, we are taking these two values as variables rather than using a hard-coded values. Now you will need to create an Ivan authentication token. There's a link in the description to a video on how to create an Ivan authentication token. I'll show you my actual token here because by the time you're watching this video, this token will no longer be valid. Now, if we look at the services.tf file, this is the actual Ivan Terraform resources. Let's start with the first one, which is the Kafka service. For this resource, we have the project, which is coming from the variable file. Uh, we're using Google Cloud. We're using business for plan. Now, depending on your use case, you might choose a lower or higher plan. We're using a specific service name, uh, the maintenance window, and under Kafka user config, we have Kafka version. Now these configurations might vary from service to service, but typically for services, uh, you need a project name, the specific cloud where you're deploying it, the plan name, the service name. Um, these are the usual configurations or settings for each new service. Now we also have the Kafka topic that we're creating, uh, the Kafka Connect service. And it, you can see that these four project cloud plan and service name, which I mentioned, you can see this appear here as well. This is the service integration to glue Apache Kafka and Apache Kafka Connect together. Then we have the Kafka connector. So here we're using the OpenSearch sync connector and this config includes the values for this sync connector. Finally, we have the OpenSearch service. Uh, this is a new service, so we're using the project name, cloud plan. I'm using Google Cloud throughout and the business for plan. Now, let's start with our Terraform execution. Before you can execute these Terraform files, we have to hit Terraform init. Now, what this command does, it initializes the project folder and also downloads the required plugin for the provider. Now, keep an eye on the left side here. As soon as I hit Terraform init, you'll see some new folders and files being generated here. So we can see the folder .terraform folder and .terraform.lock.hcl. And you can see that it found the specific Ivan Terraform provider version matching 3.9.0. Uh, it downloaded the required plugin. So now we're ready to start the Terraform apply phase. So let's look at our docs page on the commands and we have the Terraform plan command. What is Terraform plan? Now Terraform plan doesn't actually create the resources. Think of it like a preview on what will happen. So if I execute this, Terraform will tell you that, hey Devan, I'm planning to create these resources. I'm not creating it yet, but I'm planning to do this. So I like what Terraform is showing me and that's why I'll actually go ahead with Terraform apply command. Now with Terraform apply, 
these resources will actually get created, modified, or destroyed, however uh, you have it in your Terraform files. You can append um, or prepend, uh, append a uh, dash auto uh, approve flag at the end, but um, that is not recommended for production settings. So as I hit that, you'll see that I have to explicitly mention yes. Um, as soon as I do that, my services will actually get started created. You don't have to take my word, but what we'll do is we actually go to the Ivan console to see if our resources are indeed being created. So if you see that death at Kafka application logs, this is our Apache Kafka service, our open search service. So I added a dev ed prefix just to show that these are being created as part of uh, this video uh, and also um, the Apache Kafka Connect service. You won't see the topic right here because these are only the services. Once the service gets created, we can go into the service to see if the Apache Kafka topic uh, and service integrations, those are created or not. Here you can see that there's a flashing blue the flashing blue means that the nodes are being provisioned and we can also check the status from the command line. So the command line is showing us time elapsed and which resources are being created. At this point, I'll fast forward the video um, to for the sake of time. All right, looks like all the resources were created. Now let's validate from the Ivan console. So you can see that all our three services are now up and running with the solid green here. Uh, let's go to Apache Kafka from the topics and from the logs app one, we can produce a message. Uh, before that, let's check if we have any data on our open search dashboard. So from here, I'll copy the password and let's go here to the open search dashboard. So I'm using the AVN admin, the default admin credentials. And we don't see any data, which is expected. Now let's go to our Kafka topic, which is logs-apps-1 and produce a sample message. Today is Thursday. So almost Friday. So I hit produce. Now let's see if we see that data on our open source dashboard. And now we can see that the data is here. In this video, we learned how we can move data from Apache Kafka to open search using Terraform with the help of Apache Kafka Connect and Open Search Sync Connector. I'll see you in the next Ivan Developer Education video.